Dalrymple. Uh, next item on tonight's agenda is we have a presentation. We have good news uh, and exciting community announcements, usually at the beginning of our meetings. At least we try to every month. And today we are joined by the Lake Orion Lake Association, uh, George Dandelitis, who is the current president. Uh, and I know there are some other members here as well, but I'm going to turn it over to you, Mr. Dandelitis. Thank you for being here. And I will um, advance through your slides as you tell me, unless you want to plug in. I, I should be plugged in. Okay, let me just switch it down to you then. At me or you? Well, there it is. All right. Perfect. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to uh, come and, and address you this evening. My name is George Dandelitis. I'm the president of Lake Orion Lake Association, LOLA. Um, I'm going to cover briefly tonight what LOLA is, um, our 23 um, goals and accomplishments, what we're carrying forward into 24 as priorities, um, and then where do we need help. So first of all, uh, what is LOLA? So many people think that LOLA is made up strictly of, of or Lake Orion um, lakefront property owners. However, our members include not only lakefront owners, but day use, um, but day use users of the lake, marina tenants, um, as well as residents of the surrounding Lake Orion area. LOLA is a voluntary program, which means that the 11 board members, um, many of which are here to support me this evening, are all volunteers, as well as membership is voluntary. So it's not, it's not like a regular subdivision, but it's a, a, a voluntary organization. And annual membership dues remain low at $20 per year, or roughly the cost of a pizza. Lola's purpose is defined in our bylaws um, to provide effective communication between the members and government agencies relating to all activities that may affect its members, to promote, advocate, and protect the interests of the area through the preservation of the natural beauty of the environment, and to support all propositions that assist the ordinary and proper development of our community in general and our immediate area in particular. Sometimes people comment, um, why doesn't Lola enforce the rules? Well, as you can see, Lola is really, we have no authority in that regard. Our purpose is one of communication and support. So Lola has many activities um, and supports many local community events. Um, we, we do the uh, no-wake buoys. There are 17 no-wake buoys out on the lake. Um, we not only put those out every year, we bring them back in, we store them. Um, we're responsible for the maintenance and the replacement of those buoys. Um, and we not only do it from a labor standpoint, but also from a financial standpoint, um, we do the buoys. Um, Lowe has been enrolled in, with Eagle and the Cooperative Lakes Monitoring Program uh, for years in which a voluntary program um, whose mission is to network and expand water quality monitoring statewide. Um, we purchase the monitoring equipment, we take the water samples, and we submit that data um, back to the state. That data is available for online, or online for most Michigan inland lakes. Um, we provide patrol boats for the Dragon on the Lake event in the village um, for all race activities. So we, we keep the, the race, actually the, the race events safe. Um, we sponsor uh, the Lighted Boat Parade, which is kind of the kickoff on Friday evening for the Dragon on the Lake event. Um, we have cash prizes um, for the top three entry boats. Um, we make an annual donation to the Lake Orion Fireworks. And probably most important, uh, we're the, vo the voice of the lake residents on matters that impact the lake and pr predominantly water quality and water safety. So looking at our, our 23 goals and accomplishments, um, I became president in June of 23, and we established three LOLA goals for the year. The first being membership. Um, at the end of the year, um, we had 135 LOLA members. Communication, um, we ban began publishing a LOLA newsletter. And lake overcrowding um, was also one of our, our objectives. And primarily from a safety standpoint, we began discussion with both the village and the township on keyholing. And keyholing is, is a practice where um, a resident will rent seasonal dock space on their property. And the problem, the, the, what makes it an issue is they don't get permits. So there's a requirement of the state to have a permit from the DNR in order to, to, to rent space. Um, we also had a meeting with the local law enforcement um, to discuss boating safety initiatives. 
Our 24 priorities, again, membership. So we're continuing the membership drive from 23. Um, as of today, we have 113 members. Communication, um, we continued with the Lola newsletter. Um, many of you are probably on our distribution to get that. Um, we redesigned and relaunched our Lola website, www.lolainfo.org. Um, that is very intuitive now and has a lot of information on it, not only on Lola, what we do, but on the lake, as well as the surrounding community. And we've really beefed up our use of social media. From a water and a boater safety standpoint, um, continued discussion with local law enforcement, and we've got a Lola-sponsored um, boater safety class that I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, more about um, as, it, as it comes up here. Major concerns of our members. So there are four areas of concern that are, con that are really a consistent message from our members. Um, the first around lake overcrowding. Keyholing, um, again, that's the issuance. Keyholing um, and the issuance of marina permits by the DNR. So we've been told by the DNR that the DNR, when they, they evaluate an application for a marina permit, um, they look at it from a structure, does it, does it um, potentially harm the, the natural resources? Is it an issue for public navigation? Or does it, does it in encroach on riparian rights? They are not looking at how many boats are on a particular body of water, and can that body of water sustain that number of boats? Um, furthermore, the DNR states that overcrowding is usually handled by local government or a lake association. And as I previously mentioned, we, Lola, the lake association, have no authority. So it really falls, in, as far as the DNR and the state is concerned, it falls on local, uh, local government. Um, no wake laws. Uh, violation of the no wake area is commonplace on the lake, and it creates unsafe conditions and damage to other vessels in the shoreline. Um, high energy wake damage to the shoreline and the lake bottom from wake boats operating in a high energy mode. As well as blight, we've gotten quite a few complaints about fallen trees that are in the water or docks and structures that are dilapidated and deteriorating in the water. So where do we need help? Are you a member? Do you live on the lake? Do you use the lake? Do you consider the lake to be one of the assets of the Lake Orion community? Lake, the uh, Lola is really a combination of all of those. So we would invite participation and membership from, from really everybody in the area. Lake overcrowding. Um, again, Deagle and ENR stated position that that falls on their local authority, not the state. Ordinance of Ordinance 50. Um, we have, so this is the local ordinance in the township. We have no wake rules. Um, it's very clear on no water skiing, wakeboarding, or tubing, or high speed operation one hour after sunset to one hour before sunrise, and a maximum lake speed of 40 miles an hour. Quite honestly, none of those are being enforced on the lake. The high energy wake mode of uh, wake boats. Um, House Bill 5532, which was initiated this year in Lansing, um, supports the DNR's recommendation of 500 feet, no operation of a wake boat in high energy mode. So that's when you're trying to get the huge wake behind the boat. Um, any closer than 500 feet from a shoreline or a dock or another vessel, um, or in anything less than 15 feet of water. So we're looking for help. Um, to support that, that bill. House Bill 5532 does not attempt to kill the sport. It simply puts some limitations around it, not unlike what we see for hunting with specific hunting seasons, uh, fishing limitations on size or fishing locations, um, the use of off-road vehicles, and other watercraft logs. House Bill 5532 simply puts some thought around the sport in consideration of ecology and the preservation of our natural resource. And then blight, as I, I mentioned, are there ordinances in the village and the township? And if so, who enforces them? Where do people go? So the last thing that I wanted to mention here is our boater safety class. So 
Who needs a voter safety certificate? Anyone born after June 30th of 1996. So if you think about that, anyone under 28 years of age operating a powered vessel, any powered vessel in Michigan requires not only the successful completion of a voter safety course, but to have on their person the voter safety certificate. Furthermore, anyone born after December 31st of 1978, that's under 45 years old, is required to have completed successfully as well as carry a boater safety certificate with them when operating a personal watercraft. So Lola's offering a free boater safety class in partnership with the Oakland County Sheriff Marine Division. Um, our, our true target is middle and high school age kids. Um, it's being held on June 29th from 10 o'clock in the morning till four, which is one of the first Saturdays after the kids are out of school. It's gonna be held at the Orion uh, Public Library and lunch will be provided by Lola. And you can see the, uh, the flyer on that. I appreciate that being uh, on the website here in the township and available. Um, we're advertising it on social media and the village also um, at the schools. We put it on the, uh, the peach jar at the schools. So we're really trying to get, uh, we're trying to, trying to boost that, that boater safety out there. And then the last thing here, the, uh, our website, lolainfo.org, that's been redesigned and relaunched um, this year. Um, I would encourage everybody to go on there. There's a, just a wealth of information about the lake, about the, the area, what Lola does, um, what our activities are. The membership form is online, makes it real easy. The registration for the lighted boat parade, it's all there online. And again, I, I thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate the opportunity to come in and address you. Um, I don't know if there are any questions or if anybody has any questions, but. Thank you, Mr. Dandelitas. Mike, Mr. Flood. Hopefully the library is open by that date. Um, I've, I've been assured. We, I've, I've spoken with the library, and we're in the Linda Sickles room. Um, that's the, the big room. We have room for 60, and they assured me that it will not be a problem. No, I meant that you know, we're close with the fire. No, I understand. Yeah. And, and I've, I've spoken to them about it a couple of times, actually. So we should be good.